Hello friends, welcome to Entry. I am Mirza Ayatish Ambeg, your Coin Educator and today I will discuss something very important regarding your SBI Apprenticeship Examination. As you all know that your exam was going to will be going to held in January and February, in the month of January or February. I will say that it will start from the last month, uh, last uh, of January and goes to uh, uh, first week of February. So it was it, it will be an important exam and the only thing you know that it will be only one exam held. There it is going to be only one exam held and that is very uh, and it's very important because to get the to get the selection in apprenticeship you need to crack this examination. Okay, so first of all, let me take you to the exam pattern which I have, which I have already told you in the SBI <coughs> uh, detail analysis. Okay, so look at, go. Here comes the exam pattern. Look at this exam pattern: reasoning, quant, general English, and GK. One more thing is important that uh, with reasoning you will be getting computer segment as well. Okay. All the segments have same number of questions, which is 25 number of questions and will have same maximum marks as well. All right. The duration of the uh, duration of each segment will be same according to what the individual segments look at this. That means you will have a total of 100 questions for one hour. It is similar. It is similar to the prelims exam. Just one exception that they have included general awareness segment and they have made a cut or you can say they have equal the number of questions in each segment. All right. So the total number of questions will remain same and the total marks will remain same for one hour. Okay. That means for each segment you will be getting 15 minutes all right so let me take you to quant section because i am going to tell you about the quant segment first of all you need to know about the syllabus of that quantitative aptitude it is a bit of <coughs> different from what the regular examination the regular banking examination look at this they have included some advanced portion as well, number system and LCM HCF. That means you have to deal with them. But one thing is sure that they have, they will distribute this whole syllabus in three parts. One is the easy segment, second one is the moderate, and the third one is the lengthy segment. Now you need to differentiate between moderate and lengthy to clear this examination. Okay, just a minute. Let me give you a clear idea. So you will not forget anything. <coughs> Look, you will be getting three segments. One is the simplification segment, which we call that easy segment. Okay, the second one will be a DI segment. Third one will be arithmetic segment. According to the latest trend, we have seen that from quant segment, it is almost predictable. Because if you're going to, if you're going to give a PO level examination, you will be getting lots of DI and arithmetic questions. Okay. If you're going to give a clerical level examination, you still be going, you still be getting DI and arithmetic. But one thing is sure that you will always get simplification or approximation. That means uh, board mass rule or you can say simplification approximation questions you will be getting and quadratic equation as well okay number series quadratic equation so I put all the detail uh, I put all the things in a uh, simplification segment so simplification segment will be easier you will be getting 25 questions let's uh, let's uh, distribute that let's say that if you if uh, if we had 35 questions in the IBPS or SBI prelims examination <coughs> then that means we will be getting uh, we will be getting 10 to 15 questions from arithmetic segment and uh, 10 to 15 questions from DI segment okay and 5 to 10 questions from simplification or quadratic or approximation or 
what <coughs> series number series one thing is sure that you will get okay so this is 25 questions that means that is uh, it is sure that 5 to 10 questions will be from what 5 to 10 questions will be from simplification or quadratic equation or <coughs> you i will say that you will be getting lots of questions from simplification number series and approximation okay i believe quadratic equation will take a back seat in this examination if it come uh, i don't think so you will be in a typical situation you will be in a good situation in any of the case so <coughs> from uh, from the rest of the questions that means from the rest of the 15 to or you can say that of 15 to 20 questions you will be getting you will be getting di i think to, you will be getting either two or one di one thing is sure one di will you will get for sure but it could be possible that you will be getting two di so it that means the uh, the question or uh, number of questions from di segment can be uh, in the range of five to ten all right so now we have reached that means the third segment is the arithmetic so rest of the questions will belong to arithmetic they will not give you lots of arithmetic questions why because if they give you lots of arithmetic questions that means you will get stuck and your cutoff will be below but in this apprenticeship apprenticeship examination i believe the cutoff will be high but the paper of the the level of the paper will also be high, uh, easier okay so let's move on and let's see what the tips tips to score well in quant section look choose your question wisely why i am saying that choose your question wisely <coughs> because let's say that you have got easy uh, let's say that you have got uh, arithmetic question in the first uh, number what would you do what would you do you will use that arithmetic question and solve them but it will take one minute more than it can take more than one minute so it is not a wise thing that uh, you should uh, go for that <coughs> arithmetic segment so you have to start with the easy segment that means uh, the simplification or a board mass or an approximation question so you need to choose that okay <coughs> don't waste time on lengthy questions lengthy means arithmetic segment either you will be getting arithmetic segment from lengthy <coughs> or a di segment from lengthy <coughs> always monitor time keep watching time because you will have only 15 minutes so how you are going to distribute this 15 minutes let's say that <coughs> if you got five to eight questions from simplification you will have to take two to three minutes that's it only two to three minutes and above two to three minutes that means you are taking more than the nece necessary time now for the next uh, slot arithmetic segment and uh, di segment you will have to pick questions if you're not able to pick question you might not be able to solve it in a given time <coughs> plan a proper strategy and go according to that uh, i will plan if if i was there in if i will be in uh, in your place what would i do i will start with the easy segment and i will choose the simplification quadratic equation number series these are the segments i have to choose first why because it takes less time and it can be solved easily and you will not get stuck in a time frame so let's say that you have solved uh, 10 questions in 5 minutes that means you have been left with 10 minutes and with 15 questions so there is a good chance that you can solve all the 15 questions so you can easily you can easily solve 25 out of 25 in this apprenticeship exam so plan it accordingly why because you will have a limited time only 15 minutes will be there so these are the tips i hope you have understood it so that's it from my side guys i hope you have liked this video if you have liked it and you can subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon remember that to keep watching this video you should go to entry app and install our entry app and download it from the play store and you can watch all our videos whether we are talking about the foundation course mains course or a crash course everything is there okay so till then thank you keep watching entry